Nicolas Cage fans, get excited. This meta comedy is part romance, part Hollywood spy thriller, and it is everything we didn't know we needed. Is it too much? Is this supposed to be me? It's grotesque. I'll give you 20,000 for it. We could have died! <laughs> what do you guys want? We're with Central Intelligence. Do you know who you're spending time with? I need you to help the U.S. government. Right. Congratulations Thank on you. this. Thank you very much. Now, I think one of the reasons it's so successful is because your fans are basically obsessed with you in the most loving way. But what is the biggest misconception about you that is out there? That the body of work that has been in the media marginalized as a so-called direct-to-video that I was phoning it in. I really believe that the amount of movies I made only made me a better actor, made me better at my job. And I think in the last 10 years, I've done some of the best work in my entire life. Tom and I, the director and I, worked out something together that I think hit the bullseye, and I'm very happy with the results. It's funny, and it's also very touching, you know? He has this reputation as like a bit of a wild man, yeah. but he was so incredibly prepared when he showed up. I've never worked with an actor that was that prepared and that committed to doing a good job, and that was sort of surprising to me. I read that you were scared to take oh, on yeah. this project. Why, why is that? Well, as an actor, we like to sort of uh, hide behind our characters. But when the character's name is Nick Cage, uh, you're kind of out there fully uh, um, bare and it's embarrassing and you're emotionally naked. And I didn't want to do anything that might humiliate my family or myself. So it was a bit of a high wire. The downside was enormous, but the upside has been terrific. First of all, tell me about the knife throwing day on set. It was my first day on set and I was panicking. I'm very bad. I have no hand-eye coordination. So I was panicking that I was going to tank this movie, but everyone was amazing. Sharon Horgan, who plays my mom, she was like very kind and really like talked me off the ledge. Was that your first day meeting Nick? Yes, it was. It was amazing. I mean, he came right up and was incredible. He was my dad from day one. You look fabulous, first was, of all. Oh, thank you. Of course. So do you. You look beautiful. Thank you very we, much. We're like kind of matching. Could get married. We did. Yeah, let's do it. When did you know that the bromance was there? When I read the script and I saw some of the scenes and what the story was between these two people, I didn't have any doubt in my mind, knowing the actor that he is and what he's capable of, that, that it's going to get, you know, all I have to do is show up and not screw it up. And, um, and, and, and just uh, be his scene partner. The unbearable weight of massive talent is in theaters April 22nd.